What is going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care today. Hey, we start season tomorrow. We start mowing. We got all the maintenance done on the grandstand, the ferris. We got the uh, edger out because I think I'm going to try using the edger this year instead of edging everything with a trimmer. But uh, <clears throat> we will see. We got everything loaded up ready to go ready to rock and roll for tomorrow <clears throat> let me tell you even though it's the start of the season uh what happened is i got fully booked okay i mean fully booked and so by fully booked i mean i actually overbooked and i've got another property to bid tomorrow in a subdivision that i do anyway i've got three properties in so this one is literally right around the corner so I'm gonna go bid it. And why am I overbooking? Well, it's simple. I took on more than I could handle because during the season, I've always found that you always get the people that say they want weekly and then they turn and they go to bi-weekly or they wanna skip, skip, skip. And that's not what I want on my schedule. You also, summer comes and you get these people that the neighbor kid's gonna start doing it. My kids are out of school, they're gonna start doing it. So you lose those properties too. So I'm probably overbooking by about five properties. Right now I'm at three. If I pick this one up tomorrow, that'll be four. And I'll probably stay right there because that's probably about what I'm gonna end up losing out of all of these new clients that I did pick up that I'm not used to yet. Uh, to see how they act. Now, I'm not saying they're going to be bad clients. They may be the best clients in the world, every one of them. But, well, you know what? Then my schedule will remain full and it will remain overbooked and I will work extra time to make sure that these properties get done with quality. So, <clears throat> that is why I personally overbooked this year because I found in the past years that it always seems to happen that way. Well, when you pick up uh, a lot of new properties 15 to 20 then it's going to happen i'm pretty sure in my head it's going to happen it's just which clients are going to do it and when are they going to do it so that's why i personally just you know gained more than i could personally take and i uh, said you know what if i have to work longer hours that's totally fine but we got everything ready everything ready to go i got the oil stocked up uh, I got to stop by the store in the morning, fill up everything. The grandstand's pretty much full. So that will be a totally different video, but I just wanted to let y'all know, I hope you have a great season. Hopefully you are as blessed this year as you were in previous years. Uh, you know, just remember, don't let yourself get down. If you think that, you know, because you lost a property, it's the end of the world, maybe you lose two or three properties. Just remember there's plenty, plenty of other properties out there that you can gain. You just have to go get them. Not all the time do the things get handed to you on a silver platter. This will be my seventh year doing this. And let me tell you, has it been a ride from the beginning? I've learned so much from the first year to now, and I'm Steve still revamping my company every year to something different that I, well, I'm making changes, okay, to make it better. And so that's something that you're just gonna have to do. That's something that comes along with it. Every year you should be doing something to make your business better. What did you not like doing? Maybe you didn't like doing bi-weeklies. Well, if you don't have to, just start telling people you only do weekly. That's what I did. And I said, you know what, it's hit or miss, but this is how it's gonna be. I don't want the bi-weekly properties. And there's a big reason behind that. It was, you know, it, but I'd separate all my bi-weeklies on two different weeks, <clears throat> and then we would get rained out one week. Well, now every bi-weekly I have is on the same week along with every weekly. And it honestly turned into more of a headache to me than it was worth. And then you got some people that'll call you and say, well, Joe Schmo was doing it for $30. Can you do it for 30? If your minimum is $35, then don't drop your minimum. If it's a $40 yard, you tell them, no, I'm sorry. I've got to, I've got to stay to, you know, 40. If you think you're still going to make money on it and it's really not that bad, 
You know, some people will literally go and say, you know what, I'll meet you in the middle. I said 40 year at 30, let's do 35. And you'll pick up that property. But I found word of mouth is huge. Word of mouth got me so many properties that it's crazy. I've tried yard signs, I've tried, uh, you know, I've got Google My Business, that brings in a lot as well. But there's so many different ways to advertise your company out there that it's you should have no issues getting the clients if you are making the effort, okay? So anyway, happy 2022 season to you. I hope everything's going great. I hope everything's going well for you. Let's get this season started. Let's jump into this. And uh, you know, hey, if you have any anything to say, add to the clients overbooking, comment it down below. Let me know. Am I am I crazy for doing it? I I personally feel that I'm not take a little extra time to do them five properties or so but you know what if they don't drop then it's just better for me i guess so uh thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe if you haven't i'm danny and i will see you soon